to the Prime Minister on what date uh, was he, his office or his officials first advised of the alleged sex crime by a Malaysian diplomat and what action did he then take? Right, Honourable Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, um, I was advised um, soon after the incident took place, so that would have been sometime in uh, the latter part of May, uh, that there was an incident involving a, uh, someone from the Malaysian High Commission. Uh, I wasn't given details of it that it was a sexual offence, just that there was an issue with a, a member there. I was formally advised of all of the details on Saturday. Supplementary, Mr Speaker. Supplementary question, Honourable David Cunningham. Mr Speaker, was the Prime Minister advised that New Zealand ministers or officials may have tacitly or actively sanctioned the use of diplomatic immunity by the Malaysian Government? Right, Honourable Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, no. On the Saturday when I was advised that the topic was going to be uh, in the Herald on Sunday, I was advised that New Zealand had uh, issued a third party notice, which is the formal notification uh, for the fact that New Zealand wanted diplomatic immunity waived, and I was advised that was refused by the Malaysians. Jan Logie. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Foreign Affairs and asks, was he made aware of the wishes, if any, of the woman at the centre of the assault with intent to rape charges laid against a Malaysian diplomat regarding his return to Malaysia? If so, when? Honourable Murray McCulley. Speaker, no, but it is the long-standing policy of the New Zealand Government to formally request the waiver of diplomatic immunity conferred by the Vienna Convention in such cases. Supplementary, Mr. Supplementary Speaker. question, Jan Logie. Why wasn't the first question he asked of officials about whether the woman wanted the alleged offender to face trial here? And does he agree that his failure to consider her early on contributed to officials allowing Malaysia to extricate the man, thus potentially denying the complainant justice? Honourable Murray McCulley. Mr Speaker, it's, I think, a presumption in New Zealand's policy of seeking the waiver of diplomatic immunity that victims will want to see this matter and other matters uh, brought to trial in this country. That's the whole basis of our policy. Uh, with regard to uh, this particular case, um, I was uh, not kept up to date with the developments that occurred when the Malaysian government responded to the request. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Jan Logie. Was this issue not of an important enough nature that the Minister would remember to follow up and ask what happened? Yeah, yeah. Mr Speaker, Honourable Murray McCulley. So I made clear in an answer to an earlier question, matters are relating to prosecutions are for the police. The issues are around the waiver of diplomatic immunity are for protocol officials to transact. And I think the day, the day when we see ministers getting involved in the prosecution process or the immunity waiver process will put us on a very slippery slope. Supplementary, Mr Speaker. Order. I'm just... Supplementary question, Jan Logie. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Since the victim told the police from the start that she wanted the man prosecuted in New Zealand, will the minister immediately request an extradition of the alleged offender so that she does not have to go to Malaysia to give evidence, as the police have told her might be her only chance to see justice done? Mr Honourable Speaker, Murray firstly, I sought and received an assurance from the Malaysian Foreign Minister that the Board of Inquiry process, which is effectively a court-martial uh, in Malaysia, would uh, receive all of the material provided by New Zealand police uh, based on their interviews with the victim, uh, which is something that I welcomed. What about the extradition? Are you seeking well, well, Mr Speaker, I, I'm sorry, I should have answered that question. The, the matter of extradition is not one for the Foreign Minister or any other minister. It's a matter, it's a matter for the police to follow up, and I have drawn Order. I have drawn this matter to the attention of police so they can consider that course of action.